Hello everyone and welcome to the Deeply Renegade podcast. My name is Molly, also known as the Deeply Renegade, and I'd like to welcome you guys to episode 459. Today is Saturday, February 24th, <laughs> and I'm glad you can join me today. I have to think sort of hard about that one. <laughs> so also, also an interesting news, it, it would be the case where, uh, I think I was planning on on setting up uh, my new computer, um, but I didn't, so it's my work computer, it's fine. <laughs> I think uh, the file sharing is close enough, so it should be a big deal. So, it shouldn't be too crazy. I'm gonna have some tea. It's a beautiful day today. I've already taken care of a bunch of errands, so that, that was good. What is it? Like, the only thing that stays the same is change, and I have needed to uh, accommodate, uh, what would it be? It was the case where when my child took an earlier nap, it was easier to do things in the afternoon. And now that he's taking, like, a really late nap, it makes more sense to take care of your business in the morning. And he's pretty eager to leave the house. <laughs> um, it's sort of hilarious to be like... Once, once we've sort of taken care of uh, the, like, uh, morning diaper change and eating breakfast, he's like, shoes, 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 <laughs> um, and socks are shoes, but boots could be shoes, but boots also exist, I don't know, whatever. It's fine, so, would it be? But a lot of excitement has already happened today, so not too crazy. Um, what is it? So I had a chance to try on my poet sweater last night. And maybe it'll be the case where I'll also end up taking this. Or what is it? I'm meeting with the my Berkeley knitters tomorrow. We potluck. Um, but I did get enough sleeve knit that I could get like maybe like a better sense of how, how everything was going to fit. Um and now it is it is making me wonder if I uh, ended up decreasing a little bit too too aggressively here. <laughs> um, and if I did end up decreasing a little bit too aggressively on the sleeve, then I think I would like to to balance it out to a certain extent. So would it be? So I'm trying I'm trying to figure out what exactly I want to do. But you can see here, um, like I do have like a little bit of a sleeve sleeve gusset. Um, and is the sleeve gusset approximately how much more room I wanted to add? No, it's probably double. It's probably double that. So I think that the real answer is, um, I had been doing, like, decreases, like, every six stitches, and I'm wondering if, uh, the right course of action was, uh, to slow that rate of decrease down. Um, or I need to block it one, one of, one of the two. So some, something, something needs to go. And I haven't woven in any ends yet, so there's that too. So, um, it did, it did get a little bit of love. Um, so I have picked up the second sleeve. I've almost finished doing the gusset decreases, so I have like, uh, probably just a little bit more to go on that um and then i'll get into the more normal decrease rate so i'll probably put it on for my knitters tomorrow and make a decision then because some it would it be like if something isn't quite going right you know like you do you do want to make sure uh It, it is gonna work out okay um, so would it be like I hope I wouldn't need to rip rip back even farther than that but that, that might be that might be what it needs so I'll, I'll talk with a couple people and and figure out what what exactly it is I want to do um, but yeah now 
it was a case where it was very clearly uh, pulling to the arm, so it, it does make me wonder if, um, would it be, you should, you should have like an inch of ease in a sleeve, and I don't, I think I'm not doing that right now. So I should fix that. Um, so that'll probably end up getting a little bit more love tomorrow, but at, at least I, I got it on the needles. That's, that's solid progress. The other thing that or what has received most of my knitting love this week, um, this week and last week, I've just received the most of my knitting love, <laughs> is, um, is my, uh, brioche shawl. So this is, um, Sizzle Pop by Leslie Ann Robinson that I'm knitting out of two pink heavy colorways of Suburban Stitcher, which is amazing to flip back and forth. Um, so would it be and the the scale of the pattern is just uh so much bigger which is cool um and we're definitely beginning to see beginning to empty out these balls of yarn a bit i haven't weighed it i know that isn't much that isn't like me but <laughs> um i haven't waited to see how how far in, into the shawl i am but it's definitely, it's definitely, like, already, like, a good size, so, so now it's, it's wingspan, so any, any more is just even better. <laughs> or would it be? And so wingspan, like, this is, this is, like, shawlette size already, which maybe that does mean that I'm, like, probably, like, halfway, halfway on the yarn. Um. Would it be, um, pretty, pretty cute, <laughs> but, uh, the, this one, this one is not for me, and we can see how much progress I made this week, so, so we, we have made this much progress, so, um, so I just closed off that last repeat, it looks like I was at the beginning of one last time, about, so, So I've probably done like so the sorry Is that right yeah so like one and a half repeats I think um so not too shabby um, what is it? Maybe I'll plop, plop another marker in now, now that we have, uh, another week, two weeks. So, um, what would it be? And, like, almost, almost is the case where it, it might be the case where the knitting actually gets, like, easier as you go along because there's just a lot more a lot more plain it feels like is that true i don't know whatever so it it feels like it feels like it goes faster um i did the like the closing the closing row there's i think one more after that until i have like a full repeat so not too crazy there um so solid um For some reason, I don't know, there might be a lot of pollen right now. Um, sure, it's February, but everything's alive again. <laughs> or, well, I was, we were walking by, we were walking by a pine tree, and, like, the breeze went. I see this yellow cloud of pollen coming off of the pine tree. I'm like, ooh, <laughs> that's gonna hurt. <laughs> So, two projects still, no big deal, um, would it be, like, it is a, I think af after I do some of the triple shooting on the sweater, may maybe that will end up going a little bit faster for me, um, we shall see, we shall see, um, so, that's all my knitting, not too crazy, 
they buy anything? Yep. Nothing, nothing fiber arts related. Will I be buying things in the future? Maybe. Um, so it will be, um, like in a few weeks, it will be the Bay Area Yarn Crawl. And so I have made plans for um, heading out with my San Francisco knitters. So let it be. And I think we have like a rough plan of, uh, what is it, like one weekend uh, hitting up shops in the peninsula and then another weekend uh, hitting up shops in um, East Bay. Um, prioritizing ones I, or ones we haven't been to before, I think. Um, what is it? One, one of our friends is actually um, cheap cat herder, so <laughs> I don't think she'll be going with us, but. should be a lot of fun so that's coming up um would it be maybe that would mean that I would actually have to have a game plan for something but <laughs> it's fine um so on on the spinning front I have I have made some progress um so I do have two bobbins now complete and then these ones would end up getting uh, applied together or these ones that we end up seeing would, would end up getting applied together. Um, so this is two ounces of fiber approximately per bobbin. Um, all uh, wool and silk blends. Um, would it be spinning it, spinning it fairly fine, um, as I do. <laughs> um, would it be, I think because I'm in the middle of the sweater spin, I'm not trying to change up my spinning style for a while. Um, not that the sweater spin has gotten any love, but whatever. And I did a ton, like, in, in like, the past two nights. So, um, this is how far I am on the third and final bobbin. So I have this much left of this teal color, um, and then I'm going to move on to a teal bat. Um, so we can see some of the brown. We can see some of the brown and teal, which is primarily reading brown on my screen. And then we also have um, some of the teal as well. So I have um, four more, um, four more bits of fiber to go, or sorry, eight more bits of fiber to go. And then, and then I will be, I will be done with this project and just have to ply. And all I'm plying on my jumbo flyer because six ounces of fiber is too much for a lendrum bobbin. <laughs> um, So, or what was it? It was sort of a chaotic week, and so is the case where um, it was uh, Netflix and spinning on Thursday and Netflix and spinning on Friday. <laughs> um, so, not too crazy. I think I was, I was expecting, I was expecting it to be a little bit chaotic. Next week, I think, should be much more chill. Cause you, you need that, right? You need crazy. You need, you need calm, calm and busy, I think. Or you need some calm in between your busy. There we go. That's what I need to say. <laughs> um, would it be, I still, I still have to, uh, mend my socks. I think I had a Kitchener problem. <laughs> um, so I still, I still have to figure out it, what exactly went weird on them. It's super hard because it's the cable ply yarn, but this, the, the sock that needs fixing is, uh, out of reach, but yeah. So these ones, I, I did have something, something pop. It also looks like I have an end that has worked its way out, which I'm like, that doesn't belong there <laughs> or something weird. But would it be so need need to do need to do a little bit of a repair there. I definitely recall having the wrong number of stitches at the end of the kitchener, so <laughs> I see it seems like it might have been an unforced error on my part. Um 
so will it be. And, um, oh, that is untrue. I did buy fiber-related things this week, and you can't even act on this information. <laughs> so, um, Tin Cannons was doing their buy one, get one, um, get one free deal, and so I ended up picking up some patterns of theirs that I would like to knit, so I ended up doing two ebooks and two patterns, so I ended up getting Strange Brew, um, and what is it? I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting the name of the other ebook that I ended up picking up, and then I also got Love Note, and, um, like, the Hearts Are Cute pattern. It feels like it feels like it took forever <laughs> um would it have made sense to have gotten the ebook that that pattern was in maybe but whatever it's fine um am i planning on knitting love moat right away no do i already have the yarn for it yes <laughs> um so that that should that should be an interesting one because I have like a black base and then I have the, some of the should be mohair silk, which I think is the nicest, the nicest of the mohair silks. It's really good. Um, not, what would it be? Not, not a, not a scratchy at all. Just, it's like fluffy, not scratchy. You know what I mean? Um. And then what do it be? But honestly, the next sweater I'm probably gonna knit is a woolen spun one, probably the Piper. So we'll we'll have to get on that so that there is uh, a little bit uh, more daylight in my stash. <laughs> really, really, I should probably like spin up some fiber because that is overflowing to a certain extent as we can see above me <laughs> so what would it be so that that should be exciting um I'm trying to think is there any anything else that I would like to share this week it's been pretty chill um should should be able to record again in March. I will, it may, it may not end up, it may not end up being on a Saturday, but sometime, sometime in the weekend is fine. Um, and then there will probably be a disrupted recording schedule, maybe? I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. Because, like, February is almost over, friends. <laughs> I know. It is a leap year year, but it's fine. Um, let's see. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, whatever. I'll, I'll have to double check the dates and see if that's during the Yarn Crawl weekend. But... I know. I think I think it will be nice to visit a couple more Bay Area shops, even if I don't end up buying anything at all. <laughs> um, they they did end up releasing the bingo card, so maybe maybe that'll be a fun adventure. Is to uh, go go pick up a a bingo card at my closest OAS. maybe visit the uh, secret LIS in San Francisco. <laughs> so, would it be? It's it's always very funny because I end up hearing like the side stories of everything that was going on. Like, ah, a QR code. That was the solution to the problem. Got it. <laughs> so, it's fun. Um, yeah, I think... I think I'm going to finish drinking my tea and spin for a little while. Maybe, maybe uh, join join my spouse and his and his friend for for some New York style pizza. Should be good. Excellent day today. And then we're going to the Chinese New Year parade. 
um, because San Francisco has theirs at the end of the, the Lunar New Year period, so that should be a lot of fun too. Last time I went was four years ago. <laughs> Um, and also hilariously, like my spouse has lived in San Francisco for five years now, and this will be the first time he's taking public transportation. <laughs> like we have an excellent public transportation system. We have a bus that goes by the back of our house every 20 minutes. Like, <laughs> so it'll be an adventure. Maybe dim sum. That'll get me out of the house. All right. With that. I hope you guys have a lovely week, and I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.